Welcome back everyone. This video we will discuss probably one of the more important things um, I've been asked is what do I spend my gems on um, as a earlier or mid game player? Um, gems are really hard to get so if you're not spending you have very few places to actually get them so you want to make sure that you maximize everything um, and this isn't the very first thing but I do want to just point this out and this is important sea land is so important no matter what faction you're pushing no matter what it is you get resources and four stars can be turned into five stars and so on um, so making sure that you you know can beat at least one or you know more waves is awesome and the further that you push it you guys probably already know this you get more rewards so it's very important i think to push sea land and again if you are brand new to the game and you have no idea what you're doing sea land is so important and you want to focus on one hero one hero you know and you're gonna make some progress um so one thing that i recommend is even as an early game free to play if you can afford it we'll say you're before your first e5 you should be buying some extra smashes on your farthest one you know if you're 20 plus awesome if not you're still getting a ton of four stars you know and if you can afford one that's awesome the first three cost you 100 the second three cost you 200 um, but still I would stick with one or two again whatever is comfortable because you're still getting extra four stars which are huge on an account like that um, so I would most definitely throw that in there Anyways, the marketplace is a pretty good place to start. Um, and, you know, if you have an E5 hero, you should prioritize cores of transcendence no matter what. If you don't have an E5 hero, then it's a little bit different. Um, because you will have a little bit more gems to spend and, you know, to get used to everything. So, um, depending on where you at, in the game bag wise with your heroes you know if you have one or two e5s i would say you know you might not want to focus on scrolls but if you don't even have one e5 you should be buying scrolls as often as possible um, to maximize events and say hey i want this hero this is a good hero boom you go for it as well again heroic scroll events do give artifact selection chests so that is also important um, again if you have one or two e5s put that on the back burner still save your scrolls but you don't have to buy them every day um, again I would focus on your core and the three stars and four star heroes right here I wouldn't buy any of them with gems just buy them with your um, your gems your, your, your gold, I'm sorry. Your gold, not gems. Very important. Um, outside of that, you really shouldn't be buying anything from here. Um, you know, you might need promotion stones. You might need dust. That's awesome. Um, you hardly will ever need them. But again, if you do, feel free. Only pick them up for gold. That's my one, my one big thing. Um, and again, I like buying the, um, the free scroll down there way at the end for gold um the normal summons i forget what they're called um they're pretty trash but again sometimes you get lucky sometimes you get a four star sometimes you'll get a five star i think i've gotten two ever so not very likely um but again that is it really you should just focus on your core transcendence or scrolls depending on where you're at um and again every once in a while it doesn't hurt to double dip and buy scrolls and buy a core transcendence um but this is generically speaking without big events this is what you're going on um again not too long ago we had halloween that took a lot of gems so what i would also recommend doing is going to your tavern quests and as you see i have 19 and 20 saved up um here on this left hand side never re-roll them 
never re-roll them, you just take what you get, because the re-rolling, you'd never make your gems back. Um, however, on the right side, the individual quests will do too. So, that's actually really good. I like Boom. That's awesome. I love that. Um, you kind of want to aim for, you know, three, four, five, six, seven stars. It depends on what you need, though. Um, so, I don't really mind the gold. I kind of need it. So, I'm cool with that. But you can get a lot um, over here. Um, but I would just use your regular quests on the left-hand side. And then use your special quests on the right-hand side. Um, and that's the way that I do it. That's a pretty awesome place to get extra gems. And I normally just try to save them up for big events like we had for Halloween, where we need extra gems. Um, let's see, moving forward, Aspen Dungeon. This is a very important place. Um, for the merchants, go all the way to the right. Only buy gems for for or, uh, scrolls for gems i'm sorry um outside of that if you want to buy wishing coins for gold awesome if you want to buy the arena tickets for gold awesome um every once in a while profit orbs are here and that's kind of based on if you need them usually speaking though i say it's not worth it um but the scrolls again if you need them very much worth it. The only reason I'm not is because Black Friday is right around the corner. Christmas is right around the corner and I know I'm going to be needing as many gems as possible. Um, so again, I'm trying to save as much as I can, uh, but still I buy the core transcendent every day because it is that important. Um, but again, the scrolls, even though it's on a nice deal, I don't think it's worthwhile. Um, and especially as a early game potentially free to play it's not worth it and then the middle one anything for gold in here is kind of worth it um i don't I, I don't even focus the scrolls here it's not worth it and again that's if you need scrolls you can buy them from the middle merchant um but the left guy i'm not even going to dive in the young boy don't spend any gems on him it is not worth it no matter what you're doing um so I feel like those are some of the more important aspects of spending gems. Um, and again, if you're still confused and you're like, well, I have one E5, should I go for the core transcendent? I can't afford scrolls. I would say yes. Um, again, they're, they're literally that important. Um, and the old resources, profit orbs, scrolls, wishing coins, they're slowly getting pushed out. So you don't necessarily need them as much. Um, and again, it's it's kind of sad, but it makes it a little bit more clear on where to spend your resources. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, and again, the game is all about pushing one hero, and then you push the next, and then you push the next, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, so I do hope that that kind of helped a little bit, because Endgame is Gate of the Void. Endgame is Celestial Island, you know, the last part added to Celestial Island. So, with that in mind, how do we get there quicker? You know, and it's you maximize your scrolls, you get one hero, and then you jump into Gate of the Void. And that's my thinking behind it. And then once you're here, you know, we do have a Gate of the Void um, video, but if you guys always want another breakdown of that, we can totally do that. Um, but still, what's, what's important is coming in here compass of transcendence using all of your scrolls or all of your cores i've messed up so many times this video um conversion on the right hand side the stellar shards so i hope that that helps a little bit um and you know i just i hope that you guys you know enjoyed this remember to save up though because Black Friday and Christmas are right around the corner, and I know we're going to need some gems. So, um, you know, make sure to save up. But, anyways guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Anyways guys, thank you for your support, and take it easy.